Welcome back, viewers. These 10 foods are lowering your testosterone. Does your libido lag these days? Are you unable to find the strength to get up in the morning and build out a great day ahead? Can focus on your job or initiate some quality time with friends or family? There's a chance you're experiencing symptoms of low testosterone, aka low T. Wondering why your testosterone may be off? Sure, life's day-to-day -day stress could be a factor. Or perhaps the problem lies with what you're eating. You may be consuming what can best be described as testosterone-killing foods. Continue watching this video to know more. What are the 10 foods that kill testosterone? Soy. Yes, it's true that soy products like edamame, tofu, soy milk, tempeh, and soy protein powder provide nutritional benefits. They're high in fiber and protein as well as cholesterol and lactose-free. Such benefits don't suggest that you could be ingesting a testosterone-killing food, yet debate within the medical community wages on. Soy generally contains a large volume of phytoestrogen isoflavones, estrogen-like compounds found in plants. These phytoestrogens can trigger estrogen receptors in your body, but they can also decrease the activity of your androgen receptors, which your testosterone binds itself to. If it can't bind to those receptors, then your testosterone can't perform as it should, and therefore, neither can you. Dairy Think twice before you help yourself to that cheese platter or tall glass of whole milk. Several studies indicate that dairy products can kill your testosterone levels. Pregnant female cows are the primary source of milk that's produced and sold commercially, and their milk is filled with estrogens and progesterone. These hormones adversely affect testosterone by suppressing gonadotropin-releasing hormone, GnRH, which men need for the release of follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH, and luteinizing hormone, LH. When they're not released, your testes can synthesize testosterone. Alcohol An occasional drink won't necessarily give your hormones a hangover. However, if you like to frequently imbibe beer, spirits, or wine, your testosterone could plummet. There's extensive research that too much alcohol impedes the functionality of your hypothalamus, pituitary gland, and testes. Like with dairy, the hypothalamus can't release GnRH, the pituitary gland can't release FSH and LH, and your testes can't produce testosterone. In short, if you're continually overserved, your hormones become underserved. Even worse, they pay for it all. Besides being a testosterone killer, overconsumption of alcohol can be bad for your body in so many other ways, including your liver, kidneys, and heart. Moderation is key, so please drink responsibly. Baked Goods Who doesn't love a good cookie or loaf of bread, especially straight out of the oven? Sadly, many baked goods are high in trans-unsaturated fatty acids, aka trans fat, which are heavily associated with causing T levels to decline. Baked goods like pastries, danish, pies, and other sweet treats can increase your insulin levels as well as your waist size, both of which can leave you with low tea and a bad taste. Consider this the next time you're tempted to treat yourself to that second donut. Sugar Having a sweet tooth could cause your tea levels to sour. Sugar is already associated with a ton of health issues. Perhaps it's a little easier to reduce sugar intake if you have a better idea of what it can do to your hormones. Mint Spearmint and peppermint have long been lauded as herbal remedies for stress, digestive issues, and sinuses. Plus, they can really help freshen your breath. Unfortunately, some research indicates that when it comes to male hormones, mint may stink. Fats We've already touched on some of these since they're key ingredients in several aforementioned testosterone-killing foods. But it's worth expanding on the topic that certain fats can be disastrous for your hormones. First, let's revisit trans fats. Though there are natural traces of trans fat in meat and dairy, you'll find an overabundance of them within processed, fried, and fast foods. The list of health risks associated with those foods is vast. Cardiovascular disease, inflammation, type 2 diabetes, decreased HDL good cholesterol, and increased LDL bad cholesterol, and low T and decreased fertility. Then there are vegetable oils which are hydrogenated to improve food's taste, texture, and shelf life. They're also dense with polyunsaturated fats or PUFAs. 
Though they're often labeled as a healthy fat, PUFAs must be ingested within moderation. Commercial vegetable oils, which are often refined combinations of canola, coconut, corn, cottonseed, olive, palm, peanut, safflower, soybean, and sunflower oils, are used in cooking so many foods it's easy to overconsume PUFAs. Last, you have your omega-6 fatty acids, which you'll find in many of those vegetable oils as well as various nuts and seeds. Omega-6 can be considered a rather healthy type of PUFA when consumed in moderation. It can lower your bad cholesterol, improve your good cholesterol, and help reduce the risks of certain cancers and heart disease. However, they're not as healthy as omega-3 fatty acids, yet they're consumed far more in excess. And contrary to popular belief, you can have too much of a good thing. Research supports that too much omega-6 can not only decrease testosterone production, but it can also reduce testicular size and function, and increase inflammation in the body. Before we continue, a like would be great. Nuts Certain nuts can wreak havoc on your hormones. Nuts have earned a great reputation for containing healthy fats and minerals, but several studies show how nuts high in polyunsaturated fatty acids, including walnuts, pistachios, peanuts, pecans, and almonds, can cause oxidative stress to storage tissues, which in effect can lower your T levels. If you're someone who loves snacking on nuts, look to ones that are nutrient-dense and higher in cholesterol, and heart-friendly monounsaturated fatty acids, MUFAs. These include Brazil nuts, chestnuts, or macadamia nuts. Flaxseed there's no question that flaxseed offers health benefits such as improving cholesterol levels and digestive health and reducing blood pressure. Too much of it, though, can turn into a testosterone killer. Flaxseed is an extremely rich source of dietary lignans. Lignans are plant-based compounds that can cut down total and free T levels and prevent the conversion of testosterone into something helpful, the much-needed androgen dihydrotestosterone. Additionally, flaxseed is rich with omega-3 fatty acids. Though it's preferable over omega-6, some research indicates that too much omega-3 can also contribute to lowering testosterone levels. Licorice root Licorice root is different from licorice in the form you're familiar with in the candy aisle. It's often used as an herbal supplement, a tea, or a beverage sweetener. However, men's hormones may not be so sweet on licorice root. How can you boost testosterone? No matter what you do, your testosterone levels decline as you age. Once you enter your 30s, that natural decline is about 1% every year. Aspects other than aging can play into how rapidly your testosterone drops, overall health, weight, how active you are, and any pre-existing conditions. While you can prevent aging, you can take more control over those other factors. If your level shows significant clinical deficiencies, it's possible you may need some help in the form of Hormone Replacement Therapy HRT. Even then, there are other steps you can take that help naturally maintain good T levels, if not even bolster them. Eat the right foods We've already suggested foods like ginger and bananas, and we've compiled a larger list of foods that boost your testosterone over here. Sleep more Research shows that men sleeping 5 hours or less a night can result in testosterone declines of up to 15%. Add even an extra hour to your nightly slumber and your T-levels are likely to be a bit less cranky in the morning. Moderate your food intake Sometimes the problem isn't what you eat so much as how much of it you eat. Reviewing nutrition labels and following good portion serving sizes can be very effective at keeping your weight down since being overweight or obese can factor heavily in lower testosterone. Two great ways to control these portion sizes is to eat protein servings that are no bigger than the size of your palm. And this one's important, eat out less. Exercise regularly. We can't stress enough the importance of exercise. Research shows that even light to moderate physical activity on a regular basis can result in higher testosterone and growth hormone levels. It can also bolster your confidence, mood, and brain function. Meditate. Low T can be associated with elevated cortisol levels and brain fog, including reduced mental focus and clarity, as well as problems with memory. Some studies show that a few minutes of transcendental meditation each day can reduce the release of cortisol in your circulation, clear up that fog, and improve your T levels naturally. 
We hope we were able to help you with your testosterone problems, but it is best to seek medical advice from health practitioners. Share us your thoughts by leaving a comment below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. For more interesting facts on the human body, subscribe to the channel. Here are two more videos you should check out, both of them will definitely help you reach your goals.